All right, we're going to be palpating the muscle adductor magnus. So for adductor magnus, this is one of the largest adductors that's taking up a large portion of the thigh and more of the posterior aspect of the thigh. It has two separate heads that kind of go along with it. So we're going to be palpating numerous origins and a couple different locations for our belly. The first thing I'd like to do is try to orient ourselves versus the muscle that's just behind it, which is going to be semimembranosus. So for this, what I'm actually gonna ask her to do, is she's gonna bend her knee and she's gonna dig into the outside of my thigh here. And while she's doing that, she's activating the hamstrings and not adductor magnus because it does not cross the knee. I'm gonna follow semimembranosus and tendinosus up until I find their bony origin here on the pelvis, which is the ischial tuberosity. So I can feel the ischial tuberosity of the ischium right here, but that's actually one of the first origins of adductor magnus as well, the posterior head. So I'm gonna go slightly anterior to that hamstring, and this time I'm gonna ask her to try and lift her full lower extremity up off the table like so, and go ahead and bring it back down. And I don't need the full off the table. I'm just going to ask her to lift up. Great. And that's enough right in there. I'm providing some resistance at her femoral condyle and I can feel Magnus activating and you can relax back down. So again, if you flex the knee, that's going to be a hamstring and relax. But if we lift the knee straight up, that's going to be Magnus, which is slightly anterior to those hamstrings. From here, we're going to head anterior along the ischial ramus and then onto the inferior pubic ramus, which is more the anterior head's origin. So it's a bit of a broader fan shaped muscle at its upper origin. Again, I'm going to ask her to very gently start to lift her leg up. Good. And my fingers are easily raised up and off. One thing, please note, as we're going for this origin near the pubic bone, you're going to be sinking in to the thigh musculature and then push up into the bony object. Please do not just push straight up. Otherwise, you're going to place your hand in inappropriate areas. So again, sinking into the muscle tissue and then up into the ischiopubic ramus of the ischium and pubis. So there's our origin all along here. And then the muscle is basically gonna create a little bit of a bend and a twist and start inserting all along the femur. So in that proximal end, if this is our semimembranosus, I'm gonna go just anterior to that. Again, I can ask her to kick her heel in. Here's semimembranosus and relax. I'm just anterior to that. And I'm going to slowly sink all the way down towards the femur. Take caution, this can get quite sensitive. And then she's going to raise her leg up. And as she does that, I'm going to get lifted up out from that location. Good. So the more proximal end, this has a small attachment on the gluteal tuberosity. It attaches all the way down along the linea aspera as we work our way down the femur. And then towards the bottom, and again, depending on the body, and this doesn't have to be perfect, but there's going to be a gap where it does not actually attach. So we have all the way along the linea aspera of the femur and possibly a little bit of the medial supracondylar ridge, but then there's going to be a gap space, which is for the adductor hiatus. So this is the end of one of the head attachments. Then there's a space, and then the other head attaches here at what is known as the adductor tubercle. A way to find the adductor tubercle is to find the condyle, the medial condyle of the femur, the most medial location of it called the epicondyle, and then I'm going to hook my fingertips up onto the medial supracondylar ridge and go back and forth in an anterior posterior direction, and I will be able to strum the most inferior part of Magnus. If I also ask my partner here to lift her leg up, good, right there, I can actually feel this lower tendinous attachment going into that adductor tubercle. Adductor magnus has several actions, but the reason why we picked this specific position is it's one of the only adductors to do both extension and adduction. It does do some flexion, it does extension, and it does a lot of adduction of the acetabulofemoral joint, but it does not cross the knee. That's going to conclude our palpation of adductor magnus.